I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile, and today we're back in the XL Thermometer Grid map because today I'm going to be showing you how to make an infinite level map kind of, well, map. So the things that you are going to need, you're going to need to grab yourself in devices here, a teleporter. This is basically the main contraption for the entire thing. Then you're also going to want to grab yourself a trigger if you want to do it a particular different way which is a wee bit more kind of advanced or else you could use mutator zones instead of the triggers. We'll just grab them just to show you what I am talking about. But let's go ahead and actually make kind of a level setup here. Okay, so we've now got the three rooms built. I'm basically going to be making this kind of like a death run parkour kind of thing. So we've got this simple one here with three little jumps to get across. We've got this one over here where we kind of got to go around in a spiral to get up. And we've got this big one here where it's just one little, well, a couple little jumps to get up to here. So now next up, we're going to want to probably make kind of like a little room here. And in this room at the very bottom, there is going to be a teleporter. Make it as big as you can and make it so it teleports most likely to... Well, we can put it to A and change this one to none. Change teleporter target every five seconds or else on entry you can change this. Just don't put it on never. I think it might, it might work, but we're going to put it on entry so it changes the location each time we go through it. Now that we've got that set up, if you, don't, if you find like areas that you can hide in here, just cover them up with more like teleporters. Just place them around like that. So there's that room done. You're probably wondering, what is that room for, Mr. Mobile? Well, if we just bring this up a wee bit more and grab ourselves a roof here. We'll not put one at the bottom, we'll just leave that there. So we've got this room, and what is going to happen is you're going to teleport to another one up here at the top. And this one is going to be on none and none. Then in here, teleport to and receiving from channel 1. And that is when the triggers, the buttons, the mutator zones, all of those come into place. Now before we do that, those there do teleport to A. So we're going to grab these and make these be group A and none. And you can put them on invisible and stuff for your maps if you don't want to see the rift. I'm just making them visible for the tutorial. But we're going to place one there. We're going to go ahead and place another one there. I'm going to go and place this one right here and you know what I'm going to actually grab a button and I'll show you how to do it with those as well so we'll put the button at the door we can make it maybe have a couple seconds interact time and when 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 interact with transmit on channel one next room and we'll make the radius maybe a wee bit bigger so we can actually select it we can then try the trigger and we'll do the trigger over at this one. So we could put the trigger like right in front of the door here. Don't ask me why I'm making this go round in such a weird way. And we're gonna go ahead and make it when trigger transmit on channel one. And we'll go ahead and just make it invisible because we wanna see the door on the other side. So we'll turn that to no. Then lastly, we have got the mutator zone. We'll do it up in this one. And in this one, on player entering zone, transmit on channel 1, and we can make it a wee bit wider, so you actually have to go kind of near the door. Now if you want the person to start in a random room at the, at the start of the game, you could make them be in this room, so we'll start in this room. So here we are, we should fall down. Okay, we teleport to this room, so let's, you know, go ahead and do the parkour. Alright, there's the button. Next room, let's click that teleport here it changes the room location we can then go ahead do this one it'll take us to a random one of course it could take us to this one but the more rooms you have guys the more random it will be but because I've only got three it won't be that random and it can take you to the same one which I'm sure is fine but as you see then it, it does have a chance as well doing the third room and then if we come on up 
the steps, the hardest park or whatever, and touch the door, it also works that way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pop into a map that I'm working on and show you how it works on that. So this here was a map that I was working on, I've made it a wee bit brighter and all. And you know that this is how long I haven't worked on it because it's, it's got the old spawn pad. But basically you're going into this house and guys this is the, maybe the second time you've seen this map. Um, if you're a part of the channel but there's a switch here, turn on the lights, teleport here. Now this here is where the mechanic comes in. We go to a door it says enter question mark, we'll click it. We go through a little sequence here where we slide towards the door, the door opens. And we teleport to a random room. Now if we go ahead round we can go through the door we came through or we can go through a different door. And that will take us through a sequence, the door closes and we teleport to the other side of the room. Wow that is a really useless door, maybe we should try that door again. Maybe that was a different room, it was just laid out the exact same way. Yeah that must have been what it was because now we're in the canteen. So that's pretty cool, we've got all these different rooms. And guys, this map has thousands of rooms, so if you would like me to finish this map, and maybe try and publish it once I get a code, please tell me. Ooh, look at this room outside. And guys, just to show you, there are a lot, and I mean a lot of rooms in this map. There's one there, another one, another one, another one. There is t dozens of rooms in this, and this map is supposed to be filled. Look at all of these. Each one of these little corridors and stuff, except for this one and this one, actually that one's got one in it, but every single one except this one is actually a room that you can enter in the map, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and maybe tomorrow we'll go over the little kind of door trick where you slide through the door, but anyway, I will see you in the next one, bye, remember to like and subscribe, be part of the 1000 Club sub, sub club.